Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these 3D beaded daffodils. I have already shown you how to make this flower here and I'll link the tutorial down there in description to see it. I did it in two colors that back then and now after I did this flower, I decided that it will look really cool if I add this 3D effect in the center, which by the way is really e easy to add. And if you have done the whole earring, I don't think it will be a problem to add it. And now you have these beautiful daffodils. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell, also like, share and comment this video. In this way you motivate me to make more and more free tutorials for you. Check description for useful resources and see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, and now without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 on seed beads, yellow, orange, black and light orange. And here I'm using earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or so 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size of monofilament. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials. Link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Link to my Facebook and Instagram pages where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them and share them. And you could also click on the membership link and see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now besides the other perks is a course of five Peyote Stitch videos. Okay, let's continue. This is size 10 beading needle, but you could use size 11 or 12 as well. And by the way, you could use 10 or seed beads as well here. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work. And here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I will make just one more knot to just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Then what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to pull. And what I'm going to do next is pick up five yellow beads and as I'm exiting through this black one, I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. So I exit through this one, skip this one and go through the third one. And I pull. Take five again skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Five. Repeat the same steps. And I'm going to show you this faster until the end of this row. And here guys at my last step what I'm doing is that I go through the very first black bead that I started my row from and I go like this 
okay now I have this and don't worry that it bends a little bit we'll fix it later okay and now what we do is that we go through two of the five beads that I added in my previous row so I'm exiting here next to this one at the top and I'm going to pick up five yellow beads I skip here the central one and I go through the following okay now I have this then I'm taking one black bead and I go through this yellow here which is the second yellow counting from the center and it is next to the central yellow beads of the five that I added in my previous row okay now I need to add five yellows okay five yellows skip this one here the central one and go in the next yellow and pull and I have this then I'm going to take just one black bead and I go in the same place through the second yellow counting from the center okay five again skip the central one and go through the following one black and now I'm going to show you this faster until the end of this row Okay, and here I am at my last step and pay attention where I'm going again in the second yellow counting from the center okay this is the second yellow don't go don't do the mistake to go through this one I was doing it in the beginning when I started working with beads okay now this is what I have okay now what I want to do is go again through two beads two yellow beads in this direction and guess what I'm adding five beads I'm skipping the central one and going through the following I need yellow black yellow go in this yellow that is next to the central one that is sticking out the most just before it like this five yellows skip the central one and go through the following you see where i'm exiting take yellow black yellow again go in the same place just before the bead that is sticking out the most just before this one the central one okay five skip the central and go through the following and repeat this guys until the end five yellow black yellow five yellow black yellow and i'll meet you here at this side okay guys and i'm here at my last step where i need to add my last sequence of these beads and i'm adding it in the same place here through this yellow that is next to the one that's sticking out the most here okay then again what i want to do is go through these two yellow beads and I take five yellows skip this central one here and go through the following ok 
okay then I need three yellow beads and I go here through this black one okay I have this three yellows again go through the one that is just next to the central bead like I did before five yellows skip the central and go through the following three yellow beads go in the black one three more yellows go next to the center just before the central one of the five that I added in my previous step five beads skip the central go like this three go through this black and continue doing this guys until the end of this row and don't worry that it bends at this stage we'll fix it later okay here i have five then three three five three three five and i will continue and meet you here if you can't do this just rewind the video starting from here and repeat it until the end see you in a while okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and you see where i add it at the same place like i did before okay then what i want to do is this familiar step i'm going through two seed beads take five yellows skip the central one and go through the following take three and go in the middle of these three beads that you added in your previous step then take just one black bead and go again in the middle of these three beads that you added in your previous step three again go next to the one that is sticking out the most five skip and go through the following skip one and go through the following three yellows again and go again in the middle of these three that i added one black again in the middle one three next to the top five skip the central and go through the following three central yellow one central yellow and continue this three five three one black three five three one black if you're not able to do this just rewind the video and repeat these steps from here and meet me at this side okay guys and here i am at my last step 
where I need to add my last three beads from this row. And I'm almost finished with my flower. I just need to make one more row. Again, the familiar step, which is go through two beads in this direction. Take three. Skip the center and go through the following. Then again, three. And go through the central one of this tree that I added before. Then what I want to do is to make a repositioning. I'm going through all of those beads, reaching the central one of the three beads that I added in my previous step. Or I am one, two, three yellow beads away from the black one. Take three. And in this row, guys, I'm going to be adding only three beads everywhere. Three here. Then three at the center. Three again. Okay, and I have my whole petal ready. Again, this thread repositioning that I mentioned. Central one of the three that I added before. Or count one, two, three from the black one. Three again. Go here. Three. Go at the top, three, and go here. And continue these guys until the end and meet me here at the last petal. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step, where I'm just adding my last three beads from this row. And with this, my flower is ready. By the way, if you want, you could leave it like that without the 3D effect in the center. And I have a tutorial with only this part, but just I did it in two colors. You will see it in description as I mentioned. And now what I want to do is reach the center and show you how I'm doing this 3D effect and making this look like a daffodil. Okay, my goal guys is to exit here in the center through this black bead and now I'm going to take the following sequence. Okay, and I'm taking two light orange beads, two dark orange beads, one yellow and then the other way around, two dark orange and two light orange beads. Okay, this is a sequence of seven. And what I do next is as I'm exiting through one of the black beads, I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay, I'm ex I went through this one, I'm skipping this one and I'm going through this one. It's similar to what I did in the beginning. Skipping one and going through the following. Okay, now this is what I have here, you see. And I'm going to repeat this. You see the same sequence, you could pause and take it. Then as I'm exiting through this black, I skip this one and I go through the following. Okay. Take the same sequence. 
here it is skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following okay guys repeat this three more times you see absolutely the same thing and meet me here at this place okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding the sixth loop of beads here okay and how I add it I go in the very first black that I started my row from where my first loop starts from and I pull now I have this six loop of beads here and I want to connect them okay and how I connect them I want to go through all of those beads in this direction first so I went through these four beads the two orange beads and the two uh, the two light orange beads and the two dark orange beads I'm going through the yellow and through the following two dark orange beads you see where I go yellow and two dark orange okay and I'm going to pull my goal was to be situated after these two dark orange beads and I take just one yellow and I go here in the next loop of beads and in the next two dark orange beads okay now you see these loops are connected with one yellow next to the dark orange ones then I go through the yellow and through the next two dark orange beads like this I take just one yellow and I go here through the two dark orange beads and through the yellow and I pull gently you see now two of my loops are connected with two yellows then I'm going through the next two dark orange beads take just one yellow and what I want to do next is absolutely the same thing I go in the next two dark orange beads and if you can in the yellow as well the beads from my next loop okay okay now three of my loops are connected connect those three and meet me here at the last step it's absolutely the same thing you could always rewind and repeat okay guys and i'm here where i need to connect my last two loop of beads and go here in these last two orange beads and pull gently okay now my center is connected and what I want to do next guys is go through all of those beads in this direction and reach the main part of my flower and why am I doing this because here I want to attach my earring finding now guys I'm exiting out of the third yellow bead after this black one here and what I'm going to do is take three black beads then I'm going to take my earring finding slide those down take three again and go in the same place here ok 
okay now I have this and now I'm going to reinforce this Okay, and after I reinforce this, I will go at the back of my work where I want to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, here I am. I'm making here a knot by making a loop. And then I'm going once. And I'm going second time through this loop I've made and then pull and after that guys I could go through some beads in this direction and cut my thread And now guys, my beaded 3D daffodil earring is ready. So if you like these earrings and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell. Also like, share and comment. And in this way you help me so much and you make me do more and more tutorials for you. Check description for useful resources like full list of materials. Also Facebook and Instagram pages where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you could also check the membership link where you could see what perks you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, that was all from me. Bye bye.